Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com. Today I just wanted to talk to you about what do you do when you come to um, a major crossroad in your life. Because I was at a major crossroad recently and I just want to talk to you about that today to see if I can help you if you reach a similar situation. So the crossroad that I was at was um, I currently, at the time of this recording, I do have a day job as well as an online business. So my online business I've been setting up for about six months now so I still have things to do and um, it's not quite ready to, uh, to go fully fledged, it is partly fledged um, and I have for a while been asking for development in my workplace from my company um, and one of the reasons I started an online business was that I couldn't find a process that was linear or, or sequential and um, I did ask uh, you know sort of the regional development um, officer as they call it in my in my company for some help and I didn't get the help um, that I needed or that actually that I felt I deserved and what happened for me was that um, my manager um, kindly off her own back bless her went to the local college um, and found me some training from there. Now I work as a cleaner in my day job so uh, the place where I work I clean, it's a public area so I clean the bathrooms, uh, staff area so that's the offices and the staff eating areas as well um, and as well as a few other places. Um, so having done that for two and a half years obviously I was a bit fed up doing the same thing every day uh, just feeling I could do a lot more with my life, feeling that ceiling effect and getting quite frustrated with myself but then again not being sure where I was able to go. And um, as I say, this my manager found me some training, but the training was cleaning training. So my major crossword was, which way do I go? Do I shut my business down and sort of take the training that I've been wanting for such a long period of time, try and stay within that stability of the company, uh, the people that I know, the familiarity of the place, the, uh, the schedule that I more or less know, um, and where I at least have a, have a you know solid foundation, or do I go the other way and I say, no, I've started on my business, I've already invested, I know it's uncertain, it doesn't have certainty of finance that um, obviously having a, a job that is paid hourly does, um, or do I do both? And I didn't really want to do both because I was I was feeling that that was going to be overwhelming for me. I feeling that I was going to be taking on too many things. And what I found is when my attention is in um, different areas, I it's like a pie chart, so the more segments you have, the smaller they are, so the smaller my attention is towards those individual segments, and therefore the smaller the, pro, the progress and the, the slower, you know, things are to get moving, can be frustrating for other people as well, um, and, and generally the greater the feeling of just being overwhelmed and, and confused. So here are my top tips when you feel stuck, this is what I did. So first of all, I've got a pen and a paper and I needed to figure out some basics for me. So a lot of uh, things that I believe when you're, you're stuck in a certain situation is you go back to your core values and what you want and I was thinking, right, I want to look after my family, then they're, they're not in this area where I work, um, you know, which path is going to take me towards that, what, you know, what is going to provide the best way for me to look after my family, that is my ultimate goal. So getting a pen and paper, this is the first thing I do, I want to, to show you this, so a bit closer, I hope you can see that. So that is basically, I wrote what it is possible for me, and then I did a little bit of a pictogram, so I divided the paper up, there's eight squares there, I believe, sorry, ten squares, and then um, I needed to set out some basics for myself and it was like I was having a conversation with myself. So the first thing I did is I drew a little stick person and um, I put my name, what I did and how old I was. Some basic facts about myself. Next box I put what does Pip want um, and then I put to look after family, peace and a sense of lifestyle. Um, then I did some more explanations, so I drew a picture of the things that I, I would like a bit more specific, so I put a 
little diagram a stick person walking through where a word you know so the picture of a tree um that would be peace for me that would represent peace um being alone i don't mind and i drew a little picture of a house being at home a lot that is something that makes me majorly happy um, and that i would want to work towards in the future um so the fourth box then is now i've established the basics about myself and what i really really wanted who i was what i wanted and then a bit more detail i put in the fourth box is doing level three cleaning the name of the course going to help her achieve in her workplace and so yes so i put a tick is level three going to help those three things that i want look after family peace and a sense of a lifestyle some things did some things didn't looking at family didn't and that as i say that's my major role so that at least let me understand a bit more um if it will get me to my ultimate goal and then I just needed a few more boxes because um, when I said look after family, I hadn't specified really what that meant. I was a bit confused whether it meant um, financially or uh, you know physically being with them or or quite what that meant. Um, and I figured that for me it didn't just mean financially; it actually meant um, being there for them when they need her or me um, most. Um, and I thought that was very interesting because I hadn't really discovered that side what what exactly that it was that I meant by looking after my family I hadn't uh, been exact enough which is why I was confused as to which pathway to take um, and then I put the most important thing ever which is your why why did I want to do that so again it was like someone from the outside asking me that question and I put well if catastrophe strikes you can be there to help them and not go through that experience alone. Um, I certainly know, um, I'm sure like you yourself, what it is like to be in pain, um, emotional pain. Um, none of us get through this life scot-free. Um, it can be very, very difficult. Um, and then I just wanted to have a look at my situation. So I, I wrote down the question, what things will have changed by this time next year? Uh, and the answer was, um, my little brother will have passed uni and the mortgage may go up so I need to factor that in um, and from there I could make a much more informed decision um, because I then did the same for my business you know would that help me achieve my ultimate goal um, you know of looking after my family um, would it help me to factor in the things that are going to happen in the future Um, the other thing I did write down was for uh, the training and for SFM, how long each of it would take. I mean, the course I was on it would take 12 to 18 months, and I thought, am I still going to be in my workplace in 18 to 12 months? And I realised actually um, by then I'd have liked to have left and I'd like to be fully fledged. I would really like to be a lot closer to my family by then, so time was another factor as well. Um, and then just to simplify the whole process now, I'd figured some things out. I just wrote a uh, basic list, one side pros and then this side cons. So things for, things against. And um, you can do this one or two ways when you're analysing. So once you've written down the pros and cons, you can look at um, for each method. Maybe, you know, it's training versus stay in your job. Maybe it's move house versus stay. Maybe it's... Um, you know, start something new versus not start something new. Um, and you can look at just a number of things that you've written down. Or what I like to do is, uh, because not all the things I write down on my list are equally important, I then like to tally out of five. So say, for me, looking at family would be a five that would be, that would score highly on how important it was to me. And I'll go down and I would just mark each one out of five, how important it was to me um, in, the, in the pros section um, and then I would tally it off at the end and basically the one that had a greater score would, would win um, and I would also look at the cons as well and think is that really something I can't overcome, um, is there someone I need to help me, um, how bad is this, am I, you know, what's the worst that can happen, 
if I was, um, you know, my superhero, uh, what, what would they do in the situation? Um, is this a life or death situation? Most of the time it really isn't, but um, as Les Brown says, through our imagination we, we give it more power than it actually um, warrants or deserves and, and we allowed it to stop us, you know, living our best life. Um, and in order to get over those those kind of negative aspects of each element um, and to discover how sort of serious or um, you know risky they actually were, I wrote the what am I capable of game and it's a very simple thing, you just write the words or the question what am I capable of and this really helps if you're not feeling strong within yourself, you're feeling um, not competent, you're having one of those low moments and I just wrote some, down some other things I had achieved and it made me realise that actually the, the negative aspects of things I'd written down were no way near as big things that I had overcome in the past and um, it helped me really put those things into perspective uh, and helped me draw more towards positive aspects so that I really can move towards the ultimate goal um, so that's one way of doing it. The timeline for me certainly was very, very helpful. Um, I'm not an artist, so drawing just people and figuring out who I was, um, who I was, what I wanted, whether option A was going to help me, whether option B was going to help me. Um, and it just really helped me just make a logical um, conclusion and also allow me to uh, factor in my emotions as well, the scoring system allowed me to factor in how important I felt things were to me. Um, so that's what I would do, so it's dead easy, um, those are just a few ways of doing it. The other way of course is, um, and several people I've come across recommend this, including a lot of motivational speakers believe it or not, um, and they say write down a list of who it is you would like to be and then just put a tick or a mark out of five on the side whether um, you know the options that you have before you maybe you could label them A and B are going to help you achieve that so um, you know you, I, for me you know I could write down what am I what do I, I want or what do I want to become um, um, and then obviously the number one thing I'd write this would be to look after family um, is option A going to help me um, is option B going to help me just writing A and B at the side um, as to which ones correspond as well that can be a great way a very very quick method as well that one especially if you have a, you know, a very very short amount of time to make a decision somebody's needing a decision from you within the next you know, five minutes so that's all from me today I hope that has really helped um, you know, you don't need to be an artist to, to make a little pictogram. Um, pictograms for me also help me sometimes when I feel I can't put words to what exactly it is I want. Um, sometimes I, I just end up drawing things and I think, oh, that's what I really would like in life. You know, that's what it looks like to me. And because it engages with it at a different part of your brain, um, so it gives you, you know, your brain another another part of the subconscious access to express um, what your desires and your feelings. So that's all from me. I hope you're well. Um, comment below if you found this useful. And uh, of course, always be, feel free to visit me. Um, I've got other videos on YouTube, Pit Weekly. Um, my Facebook page, pitweekly.com. Um, I keep everything guys, everything up to date on there so every day I try and release something to help you um, discover really it really is who you want in life and push you towards it, make you actually take the action um, you know, there is no reason why you can't be the one to live the ultimate life, you know um, and you deserve it, why not? this is one life that you've got this isn't a dress rehearsal and there's no reason why it shouldn't be you quite frankly um, and of course always as well, my website pipweekly.com, there are loads of amazing blogs on there. Um, again, I try and release at least one every week and if you want to know when that's happening, again, check the Facebook page pipweekly.com. Um, 
because that will automatically send you um, you know, a reminder just to let you know that a new blog has been released or a new video has been released. Um, but pipweekly.com has loads of amazing stuff and you can just browse through it in your own time. There's all different types of topics. So you're bound to find something in there that's suited for you with whatever problem you're struggling with. And if you don't, there's a contact page on there or alternatively, you can reach me here as well. So that's it from me and until next time, you take care. Bye now.